Hey St. Paul's, before I head out on sabbatical on Thursday, I just wanted to be in touch with you and say goodbye, wish you the best wishes, and let you know about a couple of developments here at St. Paul's you might be hearing about over the summer. One of the developments you might hear about while I'm away this summer has to do with our organ. As we all know, our organ has been in need of quite extensive repairs for a long time. If you go back and you look at the annual reports from each of the last years, at least as long as I have been here, you'll see that Andy has been patient and warning us that the repairs were becoming increasingly problematic and interfering with the music he can play and the operation of this organ. So about two years ago, we put together an organ committee, a group of parishioners to help us think about what next steps might be for an organ and music program at St. Paul's. They looked at every opportunity and every available alternative for us as we think about what the best way forward might be. It was their recommendation to the vestry this past year that we move forward with securing a new digital technology console for a new organ here at St. Paul's. The vestry heard their recommendation and voted unanimously to move forward with that technology in the purchase of a console in fact, making a significant down payment on a console for future purchase here at St. Paul's. You'll be hearing so much more about the future of our organ and new organ project here at St. Paul's in the fall after I return. We want to let you know how we got to this decision, what all the information was, and what our dreams and hopes and plans are for a music program at St. Paul's with an organ that can sustain it and allow us to flourish as we know we want to. Please keep your ears and eyes open for more information about the organ. And if you have any question about how we got to this point, please do be in touch with Andy, any member of the organ committee or the vestry. They'd love to hear from you. Another development that you'll hear about this summer while I'm away on sabbatical has to do with the Brookline Food Pantry. As you can see behind me, over the last 15 months, the food pantry has used our great hall and our middle room and every available space in order to grow their program to meet the incredible increase in need that we've seen in food insecurity in Brookline. As we look toward the fall and continuing to build the programs of the food pantry, They'll be looking for a new location to house their operations in addition to the two other locations that they have opened up recently. We've known the time was coming when the food pantry would need to find a space that was bigger, able to accommodate uh, their clients, be more uh, accessible on public transportation and just generally meet the growing demands of the food pantry. So we are excited that the food pantry has found uh, the resources to make this next move uh, and we will miss them as local mission partners but continue to remain active and engaged with them. As we know more about where the food pantry is headed and what needs they may have to set up in their new location, we'll be sure to let you know and we'll be hearing from the food pantry with more details soon. Please do keep the food pantry and the folks whom they serve in your prayers. So that's what I have to share with you before I head out. Again, if you have any questions, please let the staff or the vestry know. They'd love to hear from you. And over the next three months, know that you will be in my prayers, and I ask you to please keep me in yours. I love you, I'll miss you, and I will see you again in August. God bless everyone.